Tuesday as a restorative justice coordinator. So I'm, I'm in the school just working with students, doing mediations, working with teachers, on circle processes, with the principals. Uh, and then also I'm going into ISS well, the training that we offer in the schools uh, with the conflict resolution, uh, teaching students how to resolve conflict without violence, and uh, we, it's a six-week process, and um, we teach a different subject once a week with a whole classroom approach. Some of the biggest challenges that we're running into right now is anger issues with students. Um, students learning and understanding that they have the power to um, use self-control that they have the power to uh, not fall into the trap of what someone else says about them and respond or react the way that person wants them to. But what gives me hope is when we do talk, uh, like a group of girls that I'm working with right now at um, Central, Middle, and Northeast Middle, they're now saying, can we meet with you once a week? because we like this. They like that one-on-one -on -one and able to vent and get things out. And, and these are young ladies that were once at each other wanting to fight. And now they're at a point where they understand that, you know what, the, what someone else said about you to me really was not the issue. And it wasn't worth fighting over. And these girls have since worked things out. Uh, some of the things I would tell principals and teachers about getting restorative justice uh, in their schools would be, first of all, to contact our center, the Center for Conflict Resolution, um, and you know, sign up for one of our courses. We could either do it at our office or we can even come to them. We have actually customized our programs to fit uh, the needs of the schools because we understand and we know that teachers are so, and principals, they have so much on their plate nowadays. It's no longer just teaching like it used to be when I was coming up. It's it's a lot of things that you have to adhere to and, and work with um, from every level with a student, um, from their um, socially, what's going on with them outside of the home, do they, do they need food, do they need clothing, and um, all those things. And then they're able to get to the teaching. So. I would strongly recommend that they go through the training and allow us to customize a package for them. Uh, we did that at Hickman with their, with all of their staff and we went during their teacher planning times and we did that for about eight weeks. So for one hour every week we went in and we met with every one of those teachers during their planning times. Every hour we were meeting with a group of teachers and teaching them on restorative justice. Actually, we call it for the schools and for the teachers and principals, restorative discipline, which all just falls under the, the category of restorative justice.